What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. Today, I'm continuing my early battle styles coverage with an Urshifu VMAX Rapid Strike Spotlight. We'll be looking at the other Rapid Strike cards that can tag along with it in decks, as well as two deck lists for building Urshifu VMAX. Uh, so stay tuned if you're interested in that. Shout out to PotownStore.com, the best place for you to get PTCGO codes. Be sure to use code Celio for 5% off. And let's start talking about the exciting new Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX. So Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max, of course, is going to evolve from Rapid Strike Urshifu V. Nothing too special to talk about on this, so I don't want to waste time talking about that. Um, so 330 HP, just like the single strike V Max Pokemon, of course, and it has the Rapid Strike emblem. The first attack, Gale Thrust, for one energy, does 30 damage plus. And if this Pokemon moves from your bench to the active this turn, it does 120 more damage. So it does 150 really really solid then g max rapid flow for fighting fighting colorless discard all energy from this pokemon and then do 120 to two of your opponent's pokemon also really really solid um you have two good attacks sometimes you're going to want to use gale thrust over g max rapid flow uh based on saving your energy and also based on doing more damage to the active as opposed to more damage overall throughout two pokemon uh, i think this card is really good design wise for the game but we're not really focusing on that let's talk about how good it is for itself really not will this push uh the agenda of making standard format better will this card be good in standard format yes i would be surprised if this card does not end up being good in standard format uh maybe not immediately when it comes out maybe it won't be built right you know that kind of happens to new cards sometimes they need some time but um it wouldn't shock me if it just starts doing well right off the bat I think um, its fighting type is good, its psychic weakness can be covered by Jirachi GX, Gale Thrust is a very solid and efficient attack, um, so it doesn't need much to get going, and GMAX Rapid Flow is really nice to clean up kills, set up knockouts, um, even like with um, Telescopic Sight plus Zigzagoon you can snipe the Dene's, uh, so I think this is really good. Now, some of the Rapid Strike cards you can put with it. Um, one obvious one includes Octillery Rapid Strike. I don't think every single Urshifu V Max Rapid Strike deck will have this in it. I don't think this is as good as Houndoom. Um, it allows you to search your card for a rap, search your deck for any Rapid Strike card once a turn. Now, while that is very good, um, this will get better as more sets with battle style cards come out. We are getting single strike and rapid strike cards in at least the next two major Japanese releases, and I believe in one or two more English releases, uh, since ours are like two of theirs combined. So we might only get one more full set with battle style cards. I'm not entirely sure, but, um, this will get better as more rapid strike cards are released and good rapid strike cards are released. Um, so I think this is solid, not yet as good as Houndoom. I think Houndoom meets its full potential as soon as this comes out pretty much. Um, since it's searching on a single strike card of course there will be new pokemon for it attached to uh, but i think houndoom's coming out as a very good pokemon already and octillery is coming out with room to grow uh the other one is empoleon v so i think empoleon v also has a ton of room to grow this is coming out like mediocre with battle styles i think this is like a mediocre card at release uh, but as more and more pokemon that aren't a rule box pokemon come out uh this will be better because it reads as long as this pokemon's in the active spot your opponent's basics in play have no abilities except for pokemon with rule box so it shuts off like jirachi amazing rare which should be played more post rotation it shuts off the new manaphy and celebi coming out in shining legends which should be played more post rotation um it shuts off uh, Absol that stops uh, you from having more retreat cost or makes you have more retreat cost. It shuts off Galarian Zigzagoon. Um, so it shuts off some pretty interesting Pokemon. Um, actually, I'm not sure what this wording... Yeah, it, it does stop Galarian Zigzagoon with the in-play wording, I believe. Yeah, whatever. Um, it, st it stops some pretty solid Pokemon, but those Pokemon are not in every single meta deck. Um, so if we get to a point where, like, remember when Jirachi from Team Up, Stellar Wish, that Jirachi was in just about every deck that wasn't a Zorark deck, I think, when it came out. 
and Zapdos and Pika, which were two of the decks that were in, were like two of the most popular decks, if not the two most popular decks. Um, so if we get to a point where Jirachi Amazing Rare is like that, or the Manaphy or Celebi are like that, then Empoleon V will actually be very good. Swirling Slice does 130, and then you move an energy. That could be the Rapid Strike energy, so I think it has a solid attack as well. Um, so we will look at the Rapid Strike energy there which this is the main card, like th this is the reason to play Octillery, because although it doesn't attach it like the Houndoom does, it allows you to search this out, and so you get that guaranteed Rapid Strike attachment. Um, so it can only be attached to Rapid Strike, it provides water and fighting, um, and it provides two at a time. So it could be double fighting, double water, one of each, two at a time on Urshifu. Some other Rapid Strike cards we've got going on. Billowing Fan, return a special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon to the bottom of your opponent's deck. So it's like an Enhanced Hammer. It's a little worse than an Enhanced Hammer, but it is a Rapid Strike card, so you can search it out with Octillery. You've got Rapid Strike Scroll, Whirlpool Scroll. So this is definitely the weaker of the two scrolls at the moment. For Fighting Colorless, Colorless, it does a 30 spread to all of your opponent's Pokemon. Um... It's solid, and I am, uh, I do have it in my list that I'm testing right now. It's just a one of, um, but I don't have Guzmahala in my current list. I don't have anything that um, searches it out. I do have the Octillery right now, but the problem is if you want to get, um, if you need your energy for turn and you want to get this for the turn, you can't get both with Octillery. So you have to draw into one. So it's not that bad, really, um, but I don't know if decks without Octillery would ever run this. At least it's just a one of, but um, it's good. It has room to grow. It could be on other world, uh, other Rapid Strike Pokemon that might be good at users for it. Um, so solid, but nowhere near as good as a single strike scroll. Uh, Karina's motivation: draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. Why would I ever play this? Well, you can play it because it's a Rapid Strike card, and that means Octillery can just search you out your supporter for turn. Um, so it's pretty solid for that reason, but just worse than Professor's Research. Uh, mustard rapid strike stance i'm honestly not impressed with the mustards right now um i'm not using them in the lists that i am thinking are the best ones the ones that i'm going to like publish videos about and gameplay with um of course when the set hits ptcgo right you know content creators try to play every deck they can so i'm sure i'll get to rapid uh rapid strike and single strike mustard decks on ptcgo for sure um but playing irl testing these decks i usually just build like the ones that i think are the best or the most unique um whatever is the most interesting to test irl because i don't want to print out proxies for like 16 different decks so I kind of made one version of Urshifu VMAX Rapid Strike and one version of Single Strike for now, and I'm tweaking those and working on those here and there uh, between working on my other content. So I don't think this is amazing right off the bat. Um, if we had Acrobike, like just add Acrobike to our format, and you know I think we have a lot of other problems because the format's too aggro to have Acrobike, but add something like Acrobike to our format, and I think these cards get so much better because that helps you empty your hand. You get to play down a card, you get to look at the top two and pick a card that you can then play down again. Um, so basically i'm just having issues with with the one build i did try i was just solitaire handing it um and i was having problems with uh i don't know why my mouse just dc'd but it's fully charged i was having problems with emptying my hand we might be stuck on mustard for a second okay there's the mouse we're good now um and then this oh no we do have one more tower of waters uh the retreat cost of each rapid strike pokemon in play is two colorless less this is solid and polion has two retreat um octillery has one or two and then urshifu has two so this allows all of them to retreat cheryl cheryl is good in this deck i don't know if cheryl is good in the single strike deck i think cheryl is very solid though in rapid strike because uh, you use your G Max Rapid Flow, spread 120, 120. Next turn after you got hit, you pop a Cheryl, then you attach a Karate Belt, then you attach a Rapid Strike and Super Wombo Combo. Um, I don't think it's as good as Single Strike because some most of the time you want to go big hit, discard all of your energy, get hit, then attach Single Scroll and smack them because you have damage on you. So Cheryl, I think, is very good in Rapid Strike. 
Um, okay, so let's look at some decks now. I have two decks actually for you today. Uh, the first one is coming from How How News or Ho Ho News or Hoo Hoo News, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's the link up there, howhow-news.com. And um, it's a Japanese site with a lot of decks and stuff. This is the first one we'll look at coming from there. Uh, it takes you to a Twitter link whenever you put, uh, click on a link from How How, so just so you know. Um, Okay, so this has got a lot of bells and whistles happening, but I think it's kind of like the smorgasbord of everything you can do with the Rapid Strike Urshifu, right? We've got the Rapid Strike Urshifu line, of course. We've got the 2-2 Octillery. We've got Empoleon V. And then we've got a lot of stuff going on down there. We've got one Martial Arts Dojo and one Rapid Strike Stadium, so they're both options. Uh, we've got Stone Energy, Weakness Guard, Capture Energy, and Basic Energy in addition to the Rapid Strike Energy, so a lot of options down there. We've got the Double Corinna. We've got Phoebe, the card that allows your VMAXs to hit through effects and whatnot. You got the one Cheryl in there. Um, you got the Billowing Fan. I believe that card next to Tool Scrapper is Karate Belt. I haven't been able to figure out for myself. I made a list based off of this, but it's not the exact list. Uh, you got the new Escape Rope reprint in here. Uh, you got Guzmahala to get your uh, special, uh, your scroll, the Whirlpool scroll. So there's a lot going on in this one. I built a list pretty similar to this. If you saw my video yesterday for Single Strike, like I said, I'm working on these lists and I'll have the videos up eventually, trying to work on them, get them to you soon. But I want to put a fair amount of work into these lists before I do some gameplay and deck profiles with them. So we're doing this as like a preview to the preview. And Battle Styles isn't out for like a month and a half, so we've got plenty of time. Now, this is the next one. Um, I'll just show you the Twitter user. Um, I don't know how to say their name, so I'm not going to. But if you want to follow them, they're a player from Taiwan that I follow. And I try to follow a lot of foreign players from all countries just to get more input on what other countries are doing with their decks, what they're talking about, things like that. So um, if you're interested. But this is the list that they posted. And... Um, I actually think he just said this is a very consistent list. Let me go look. Yeah, consistency is the best is what he said. Um, now I clicked on a different profile. I'm a mess. Sorry. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, he said consistency is the best. And you can see this list looks like it's built for consistency. You got 4-4 four, four of the Urshifu VMAX and then no Octillery. So this is definitely a little bit of a different kind of list. You got the Jirachi Amazing Rare with Scoop Up That Switch, Escape Rope, Air Balloon. A lot of ways out of that. Uh, the telescopic sight, so you can hit 150, 150, as opposed to uh, the Whirlpool scroll, as opposed to Karate Belt. I do like Karate Belt. This uh, Karate Belt and telescopic sight can probably coexist. Um, but Karate Belt just seems so good. Like, you let your opponent knock out the Jirachi, then you go in 120 to 2 things. You get hit. You Cheryl, because you don't have any energy, so you don't care if you get cheryl uh, because there's no energy to discard, which is the effect of Cheryl, full heal and discard energy from Evolved Pokemon. Then you attach another Rapid Strike, and you attach your Karate Belt. I think it's probably more feasible with Octillery, though, um, to search out your Rapid Strike energy after the Cheryl. Um, so this one, I, I think it is, like I said, very consistent and very straightforward. Um, they're playing five basic energy and double martial arts dojo. So that means that uh, that 150 that Urshifu does would then be 190 if you're behind on prizes for just one energy. So one, 190 for one energy is very, very good. Um, especially if they're playing double escape rope. So that means like sometimes you won't even need to use boss. Like if you just want to hit anything they have on their bench, you could just make them send up whatever they've got going on. Um, the zigzagoons work nicely because if you're sniping 150, 150 with telescopic sight and your opponent has like an Eldegoss and a Dedenne, like, and you can get three zigzagoons off, that would be insane. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this was the more consistent list, and then, like I said, this is more like a smorgasbord of everything you could try in Urshifu Rapid Strike. Um, and I will have uh, my own or my updated deck profile on what I've created myself, and I'm sure I'll have some gameplay as well to go along with it sooner than later. Uh, but like I said, Battle Styles is a long ways away. I have a lot more uh, pre-Battle Styles content coming, so definitely look forward to that. I'll be playing in the Players' Cup 3 qualifiers starting pretty soon. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stream them. Regardless if I stream them or record them or whatever, I, 
well, regardless if I stream them, I am going to record them. Um, I'm probably not going to do commentary over them. I'm just going to record them and then like maybe jam them all together into one huge video or put all of my week one videos into one by week two games into another, something like that. Um, but yeah, good luck to anybody competing in those. Good luck to anyone that still has team challenge qualifiers going on. Um, if you've already qualified for a team, I have as well. So maybe we'll run into each other in that and good luck in that. And that is all I'm going to leave with you with for today. So thank you for watching. Hope you're excited about some of these battle styles cards because I do think a lot of them are very cool. Um, I'm disappointed with the lack of battle styles cards we're getting in battle styles, like the single strike rapid strike stuff. But I'm only disappointed because of how they worded it on the Pokemon.com site as 60 new battle style cards. And it turns out it's like, 30 something and a lot of them are full arts and whatnot but like i said more to come in future sets this mechanic is going to be around for a bit with new parts to the mechanic coming out so that should be good and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching if you have not subscribed already be sure to do so go and smack that subscribe button leave a like and a comment while you're there check out potownstore.com for all of your ptcgo needs they keep a great stock and a wide selection of ptcgo codes um yeah have a great day i'll see you next time here on celio's network